Hey everybody, welcome to the Murder Views. Hey, today we're checking the light out. This is the Prince Detect Sync. It's the newest headlamp. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So I got this headlamp because I am a, well, just to be honest with you, I, I'm a headlamp slut. I fucking love headlamps. Um, in my old life, uh, headlamps were a massive necessity. Uh, as a boat driver and as a boat gunner, um, crew serve guy, Headlamps were just super, super useful because I didn't have time to be trying to hold a, hold a torch in my hand and um, mess around with the 50 or 240 or a Mark 19 and try to figure out what was wrong with it. And having a headlamp on just made my life so much easier. Or while trying to do shit on a boat while driving a boat and messing with other shit, having a headlamp just made my life so much, so much easier. Uh, for all my hikers out there, you guys are already know how awesome headlamps are, especially if you're trying to look at uh, maps and all that kind of shit. Uh, just, it's just nice having both your hands available to do whatever instead of having a, flat, a regular hand flashlight. Now, mind you, um, I always have a small hand flashlight as well. Uh, I'm a big believer in uh, one is none, two is one, so I don't just rely on one type of light, but I think headlamps or head torches, as the Brits would say, are uh, fantastic. And they're wonderful pieces of kit. So this, and what I love about this, is uh, this Prince Detect Sync <clears throat> is pretty rad because the strap is not built into it. And the back is, one, is kind of curved for your head. Uh, but two, you could, it's kind of a split buckle design. So you could hook this to uh, Pal's Weapon or Molly, for as everyone would say. And you could put the head, head strap on the same way. So the head strap is a uh, one inch elastic multicam <clears throat> uh, webbing. It looks like the uh, Murdoch woven elastic is really nice. Really easy to um, change the sizing. You know, pull uh, this direction to make it smaller, this direction to uh, make it bigger for like a big old uh, Neanderthal Mongo head like mine. But it's a lot easier. It doesn't seem like it's gonna get all uh, weird and out of sorts. I uh, like my other Prince Detect light. Um, I love that light, but the strap, the elastic just kind of got weird. It worn out real fast. And also the system to move it in and out just kind of sucked. And it was just harder to manipulate. Uh, this one doesn't feel like it's going to be that way. So that's kind of cool. Comes with three AAA energizers. Uh, I like the fact that it's running the same exact AAA's uh, battery as all my other headlamps. So that means if I'm carrying more than one headlamp, I just got to carry one type of battery. Compartment for the uh, actual batteries is here. You got a nice firm click. You hear that? Let's do it. Listen to that one more time, guys. There you go. That means it is nice, very sealed, and it's waterproof. That's pretty cool. You're going to put your batteries in. It's a positive up. Oh, didn't get it all the way in. Positive up right there. And then your negative up right there. And right there. Get that closed off. So what I like about this too is that you have a lock position it comes in for travel. And then from the lock position, because this is a tactical light, the first light you're going to get from the lock position forward is, I'm going to turn this light out real fast, is your red light. So it's your, it's your red uh, spot. And that's awesome. So being a tactical light, you want to have red light as your first option. I have a couple other headlamps I do really like, but the first option is white light. And that does suck because when you want to use your light, uh, especially in the field, uh, usually you want red, not white, because you want to avoid a white light ND. You don't want to give away your position <clears throat> or um, just give yourself up. And also you want to kind of help preserve your night vision a little bit. Uh, red light's a lot better for that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, from here, you go to the off position of the actual light and that is just off itself uh, the next position up from there is your your red your red spot or sorry white spot and then you've got white spot high so it's here it's a, it's a diffused white led and then you have another led here so that is your white flood as you can see it's on and then to get your white flood high it's both white leds together that's your highest setting. This is right here now putting out 300 lumens. Uh, when it is at the red, uh, it is around, I believe it said 50 lumens. Still pretty good for a red light. Plenty of light uh, for what you need to do. 
All right. Uh, so here's what I do like about this. Besides the fact, like I said, you can put it on the headlamp, uh, put it again on your head. Uh, it is a really, really widely um, manipulated range, which I think is pretty rad. It also helps you uh, to kind of fine tune it in and dial it in to where you want it for whatever you're doing at the time, which I think is cool. And you can get it up pretty high so you can get some umbrella lighting out of it, which I also do like. <clears throat> but, so I've got my son's plate carrier here. And this is his JPC. We're running a different shoulder pad on it. So if I wanted to, he could set this up on his uh, JPC with these uh, WASP shoulder pads that he has on here. And he can have this light on the shoulder of his plate carrier. And he can do what he needs to do and manipulate things, look at stuff, whatever he's gotta do. Shut his light off, put it in the lock position so it won't accidentally turn on and he's good to go. And he's always got a light on his kit. He can keep it angled down to keep the lens from being kind of messed with if he wants and does, do whatever he needs to do. And it's pretty cool this way. It's uh, out of the way. He can also molly it directly uh, up here if he really wanted to, um, to this Velcro palace point. So he could just put it right there, uh, wherever he wanted. It's pretty uh, versatile and uh, pretty neat. And then if he didn't want it on here anymore and take it off once he was at a stationary position, you can easily move it from his shoulder and just stick it on the actual straps. Bam. And now he's got his headlamp for whatever he needs in the, in the uh, camp. So pretty cool, very versatile piece of kit. Really like this headlamp. Um, I do like the fact that it uses the same type of batteries as the other headlamps that we have. So we're only have to carry one type of battery uh, to use between our different headlamps. A big uh, believer in uh, one is none, two is one. And I do like the fact that uh, we could run this strapped or on a plate carrier on the uh, PALS. It's kind of like whatever floats our boat. And I think that's pretty cool. It's a very versatile piece of kit. Uh, it is uh, waterproof and water resistant. It's a IP, IPSW, I believe is the rating. Um, 300 lumens, uh, plenty bright. It does have uh, instructions for, you, for all you guys out there that don't like to do anything without the instructions. Uh, but those instructions are only via uh, this QR code that comes with it. it. Does not come with an instruction booklet. Uh, very easy to get. You just scan the QR code and it actually pulls up a two-page PDF file. I uh, went ahead and pulled it up, looked at it. Just gives you real basic information, nothing too crazy. Uh, shows you where to like warranty it and everything else. And explains about like your typical stuff like battery, you know, batteries don't mix. Batteries take batteries out when you're storing it, etc., etc. Uh, it explains um, the actual lamp features like I already talked about, flood, spot, red, uh, what the lumen, what the lumens are in those, and etc. And it tells you about the dial and how the dial works. So it, it doesn't go too deep. It, like I said, it's only two, it's two pages and it's a PDF. But it is nice to have. You can download it to your phone so you always have it in case there's issues. It does have a small troubleshooting section uh, for what to do if the light doesn't come on. Um, spoiler alert, it basically says uh, take the batteries out, put new batteries in, check your dial. There was not a whole lot for the troubleshooting. So that's all I got, guys. Um, definitely a cool light. Definitely worth getting, in my opinion. It was about twenty-seven bucks of what I paid for it on post at the un at the uh, uniform sales. Not a bad deal. I'm sure you could probably find it a little cheaper in some other places. Uh, maybe a little more. I, I think this would probably be around twenty-five to thirty dollars average. Uh, definitely a cool color scheme, and um, yeah, big thumbs up for me. I hope you guys got some out of this review and you may have found a new helmet light, or helmet light, sorry, headlamp uh, that for your uh, mill sim or just outdooring adventures. As always, get out there, play some airsoft, try some new shit, and don't go in the dark without a light. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.